Hey, awesome friends. I am awesome. Danny, welcome back to the channel today. I want to talk to you about this guy. This is the juicier, 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 just ear, just ear, juicier butterfly six one T. <laughs> Look at this. I love the wording on this right here. Like, as you can see right there under the name, universal juicier earphones designed in the china the china not china the china so quick thank you to hi-fi go for providing the butterfly 61t for review they didn't ask that i say anything in particular just to give it an honest review actually i don't think they even asked that they just said they'll send it to me after i asked if they were doing any tours so why am i doing this why am i working for you guys, I guess. I guess that makes it worth it. All right, 61T, 220 bucks. It is a hybrid IM. It has one dynamic driver and six balanced armatures. Maybe that's where the name comes from. 61T, six balanced armatures, one dynamic driver, T for, I don't know. And where does Butterfly come into this? Butterfly 61T, like it's a nice name, but I don't think they needed the 61T. They could have just stuck with Butterfly. I don't know. Starting with the unboxing. Minimal, simple, yet elegant. It's the usual, you open up the box and there's the IMs. Pretty IMs, they're, they're actually gorgeous uh, in person. I'm not sure if you can really get the gist of how good they look in the pictures, but damn, these IMs are very pretty. They're the faceplate is just gorgeous, done very well. One of my favorites actually this year. Overall, it's about average for the price point. So the case is okay, like it's fine. It's just kind of weird. It's almost like it doesn't fit the theme of the IM because the case looks a little bit more sporty, I guess, because of the material. It's like a fabric sport kind of material, but this set to me looks kind of classy and sophisticated. You know, it's like, it's like those people that you see sometimes wearing like a collared polo shirt with basketball shorts. Like, what is that? Who does that? I don't know about you guys, but I can't do that. Boy, you can't wear like collared shirt. You can't wear with just like some basketball shorts. I have to wear like a t-shirt. Maybe it's just me. The case is semi hard and will provide some protection for the IMs from structural damage and should protect them just fine from any like scratches. So a good case, built well, does its job. Then you get a couple sets of ear tips. You get two silicone sets and you get a foam set. So plenty of options for the ear tips. They, ear tips themselves are actually quite good. There's these clear silicone with colored stems and those are actually really nice they kind of feel like spin fits they have the little bit of you know the thinner base around the stem where it meets so it gives it a little bit of extra like malleability in order to be a little bit more flexible which you know spin fit is you know famous for but these aren't spin fits they're just a little bit cheaper feeling at least as far as i can tell so they're not spin fits they're fin spits yeah we'll call it that so the fin spit ear tips are actually really good similar to the ones that come with Meyer Audio's products so like the CKLVX the SL41 the Slevo SLT6 man they need to work on their names but similar to those ear tips these just feel a little bit better in quality and of course the cable because you have to have one of those right so the cable that comes with this set is amazing it is at the same level as the one that came with the CKLVX D41 and the Slevo SL41. I hate those names. So it's the same one as those basically. It, has, it looks like it has the same hardware on the connectors and the same cable. Premium feeling cable, really nice cable just overall. Easy to use and looks great and feels great. It has good heft to it. Maybe a little bit on the heavier side, but totally doable. As for the build of the IMs, it was okay. The shells are actually kind of big, so a little bit on the chonkier side, but not as big as the D41 shell. But D41 is a lot more comfortable for me because the Butterfly 61T, the nozzle is just kind of straight. There's no like angle to it. It just comes out of the shell. It was a little bit harder for me to fit it comfortably. I had to do a lot of tip rolling, 
find the position when I put them in because they're bigger, but then it's harder to angle them because of that nozzle. So again, like I said, D41 shells bigger, it's considerably bigger, but it fits a lot better for me at least. And now it's time for everybody's favorite segment, graph sniffing. So let's go ahead and put up the graph right here. There's your graph. While you guys are sniffing that, I'm gonna go ahead and go over my keywords for the sound signature. Uh, 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 um. So sound signature keywords are, maybe I should get in all close and read it all, you know, ASMR. Are you guys ready for this? Let's try this. Sound signature keywords, refined, visceral, cohesive, subdued, understated, maybe kind of cringe, but you know, make your own fun. Enjoy yourself, right? Oh man, dude, I'm drinking some green tea, which is like, you know, amazing. I'm, I'm not sure where you guys are in this little off topic, um, but I love tea. I hate coffee. So many people love coffee. I just don't get it. Tea is always good. And in my opinion, it can be better than coffee. So all you coffee drinkers, go ahead and rage in the comments, but tea's better. Let's go ahead and move on to the sound impressions. You guys got the keywords. You guys got your graph. So all you sniffers, go ahead and leave a like and a comment and subscribe and you can go. Now for everybody else that wants to know how the set actually sounds, let's go ahead and get started on that. Overall, the bass felt like the star of the show. It's very satisfying, so rumbly, lots of viscosity in it. Not too much where it's just like too thick to, you know, get through and it just bogs everything down. It's still quick, still peppy enough, but has a good sense of body and weight to it. Really, really fun bass. I actually really enjoyed this set. Your mid range is on the fuller side, slightly lush along with that good note way, it just makes for a very smooth and rich listen that the lower mids just resonate so nicely. Male vocals, lusher side, very full, not too forward, more mellow. Same with female vocals. Female vocals do tend to get somewhat husky, but they're very laid back and just full and rich. So velvety, dark chocolate vocals we got. But also since it is a more mellow set sometimes it can get veiled by the bass since the bass is quite prominent and on busier stuff or bassier stuff it can just leak in a bit so keep that in mind and now for the treble which is very smooth well extended but somewhat you know subdued restrained it's a little held back it gives it you know, the overall mellow signature that we've been going over. Just enough to add, you know, clarity, some resolution, but that's not what it's trying to do here. The treble's there just to keep everything, you know, contained within itself, add enough of an outline, but it's not trying to, you know, keep everything artificially separated and too rigid. No, it's, it's still keeping that smooth presentation. As for the text, it, it's not something that's going to be super impressive and detailed in that sense, but very cohesive and while still smooth, good amount of separation and imaging. So it keeps everything musical without blurring it together too much. Overall, the stage does feel a little bit more on the intimate side. Things are a little bit closer, less room in between sounds, but still good layering so stuff is still you know clearly behind each other or in front of each other without just being too smeared and it does go into you know the softer sound outline it's more of that type of presentation and today we're going to compare to this guy this is the ck lvx ck d41 even if you look at the graph these two guys graph similar, but they sound quite different. Overall, the CK LVX is a tad bit less refined, but it feels a, a little bit more detailed. There is less bass emphasis on 
the D41 than there is on the 61T. Treble is more focused on the D41, though it is a little bit more crude and less refined. Bass quality, while it's more emphasized on the 61T, it's also overall an upgrade in my opinion. It feels like a straight upgrade. Similar presentation, it's just better controlled and more visceral at the same time. So you get, it feels like you get more of it, but it's cleaner. So step up, definitely a straight upgrade. So the stage on the D41 feels more expansive, open, airy, you know, feels more vertical, but the stage on the 61T feels a little bit more 3D, more enveloping and deeper, but also not as open horizontally. It's just smaller stage, more enveloping, more 3D. So between these two, it's very easy. They're, they're pretty close, but they have some unique characteristics to each one. So it's best to just, you know, look at reviews or maybe demo them and pick the one you like the most. Either one is a good choice. It's just which one is the right choice for you. And that brings me to the rec rating of Juzier Butterfly 61T. My rec rating is a solid three. The set is a complete package, you know, well put together. You get everything you need. It's an easy one-time purchase. You don't have to replace anything else. It's a good set, great performance, and it definitely K-pops. I love this set in K-pop. It was actually really fun. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. Link in the description. But that's it. 61T Butterfly. Rec rating three. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoy the content, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, something, anything, whatever. And that's it. I am Awesome Danny. Until next time, you stay awesome, friends. Bye. Back. I played in the sun, meow, and chasing all the butterflies.